on this week's episode of Bayou Wild TV. Grab the net. We're fishing a few weeks ahead of the event. Based on what you saw today and what you've been seeing this season, what can people expect to catch this rodeo? Uh, this one, they're going to be really surprised uh, the cobia that pop up on them for this thing. All you guys stand on the shelf bottom fishing. Gav, 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 Gav. Lemon fish. Oh, oh, oh. Closed captioning is brought to you by Global Outdoors. Find your next adventure and share your experiences with others by downloading the Global Outdoors mobile app or visiting globaloutdoors.com. Every day, we strive to preserve traditions that have spanned generations. Around every turn of the bayou, Mother Nature reveals unique people, places, and experiences and the bounty of animals and fish. Well, in Louisiana, we just call that land yak. I'm Don Dubuque. I'm Chris Lacoste. I'm Captain Martha Spencer. Join us as we document the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. It's summertime along the Gulf Coast, which means fishing rodeo season is in full swing. On any given weekend, coastal towns and marinas are flooded with anglers looking to bring in that trophy catch. But for many, participating in these community fishing tournaments means more than leaderboards and prizes. Ask me, what does Fouchon mean? I think it means fun, especially when a red snapper season's open. Like Captain Chris Moran. Today, we're in Fouchon, Louisiana, for an annual trip to highlight a long standing fishing tournament the Golden Meadow Fouchon Tarpon Rodeo. And this is an historic event. I've been here for, I don't know, I think almost 70 years. And people really look forward to it. Rodeo season in Louisiana is something really special. People get fired up about the competition. There's music, there's food, they bring the kids. It's done when school's out. And it also raises a lot of money for the community in forms of scholarship and it comes back to the business. And the community here supports it and the rodeo really supports them. It's a wonderful event. This rodeo with the Golden Meadow Fouchon Tarpon Rodeo um, and, and all the other rodeos that we have uh, here in Port Fouchon. You know, in the summers, they're a great event for families to come out. And ultimately, it's about uh, having these rodeos to raise money to give back to the community for um, scholarships for students to go to both technical and, and uh, universities four years, as well as um, some, some of the rodeos also give grants out to uh, local nonprofits, churches, schools, Etc. So we're really excited to bring a lot of people out uh, to Port Fouchon every summer uh, to enjoy the water, uh, enjoy fishing, enjoy family time, and give back to our community. If you're lucky enough to bag a deer or a hog this season, bring it here to Double D. 
Double D processes hogs and exotic game and guarantees your product is always the meat you brought to Double D. Double D Meats in Bogalusa, home of country smoked, spicy jalapeno cheddar, and other customized flavors. Bring your deer or your hog here to Double D where you always get your meat back in return. It's worth a drive to Bogalusa from anywhere. Double D. Become a supporter of the Louisiana Wildlife Agents Association today by visiting supportlwaa.org. Browse the selection of exclusive gear, including t-shirts in a variety of colors and styles, plus hats, koozies, and more. Gear up today and support the LWAA. Continuing this week's episode, we're aboard the Cajun Maid with Captain Chris Moran having fun, reeling in some beautiful mangrove snapper and gearing up for the annual Golden Meadow Fushan Tarpon Rodeo. Chris, another Golden Meadow Fushan Rodeo is coming up. Yes. Your yes. affiliation with it, man. You go back to this when you was a kid. Yes. Uh, actually, yeah, I think like 77, 76 is when uh, I can remember the trophies at Daddy's house, the earliest one. But I mean, uh, my parents were here, you know, Daddy and they were fishing islands late 60s, you know, but uh, yeah, for me, the early, the mid 70s. We chose to go on the offshore boat with Captain Chris Moran of Cajun Made Charters, and he is a great captain, very knowledgeable. And what we did, we kind of went after a mixed bag of fish. Uh, we weren't allowed because it's a federal boat to keep red snapper, although they, certainly we caught and released a lot of snapper. But we also caught those mangroves, which are pretty much just as good. I think they're a lot more fun to catch. They're more of a fighting fish. interesting fish you catch out here in the Gulf is called the trigger fish. The way this fish gets its name, it's got a trigger and it's got a safety. Now this is the safety. You can push on this safety all day long, but until you push this, you can't fire this trigger. Trigger, safety, trigger fish. Good eating fish too. Well we're fishing a few weeks ahead of the event. Based on what you saw today and what you've been seeing this season, what can people expect to catch this rodeo? Uh, this one, they're going to be really surprised, uh, the cobia that pop up on them for this thing. All you guys stand on the shelf bottom fishing. Uh, Saturday, I mean, we had two fish over 70 pounds swim up to the boat. Oh, nice. Gap, 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 gap. Chris, this here is a cobia, also known as a lemon fish. And if right. you're one of the many people who think it's called a lemon fish because it tastes good with lemon, well, that's true, but you'd be wrong. If you look real close at the skin, it's got the skin just like a lemon rind. Really? I, didn't I, didn't know know that. I, didn't, I thought it was cold beer. That's what Charlie always Cold said. beer. Cold beer.
also had a mix of Almaco Jacks. We had two beautiful lemon fish that showed up. And just for the fight and nothing else, we had a couple of big Jack Cravels we caught off the back of a shrimp boat. The mangrove fishing is good, sniper fishing of course is always good, the tuna fishing is outstanding. You know, all of Green Canyon, all the way to the east, everybody's catching fishing at yeah, almost every platform. Inshore guys too. Inshore guys, on any day that they can catch some decent weather, the trout fishing has been phenomenal. I mean, I've seen, you know, and people are getting accustomed to the new, the new deal. I wish, honestly, we should have adapted to it at the beginning, right after the storm. We wouldn't have had that cold period, you know, that period of growth. But it is what it is. You know, I think it's going to be a good thing. Well, let's hope for some good weather and a good yeah. trout. Good yeah, time. no doubt, no good doubt. Fishing. Yes, indeed. <laughs> no doubt. But all in all, great day out there fishing on the water. Great company conditions were good and hopefully these conditions will continue through to the rodeo. Delta Marina is Plaquemines Parish fishing one stop. Get live bait, fuel, ice, tackle and marine supplies. Then launch into the world's most productive saltwater fishing. Return to the fishing cleaning station, relax in first class cabins overlooking the bayou, all in Delta Marina's safety video monitored parking lot. Need a fishing charter guide? Delta Marina can hook you up. Cook your catch in your kitchenette or dine in the upstairs restaurant. Visit Delta Marina for a day or a week. Stop in just off Highway 11 down Rosemary Drive in Empire. Visit the deltamarina.com. In Louisiana, food brings everyone together. These are the flavors that make friends out of total strangers. The flavors that remind you of home. It's the meals you crave, that take time, that show love. Because in Louisiana, we cook. And we know that when we come together to cook and eat, life gets better. So pull up a chair, leave room for seconds, and pass a good time. Because life needs Louisiana flavor, baby. One of the reasons why Double D has been around for 50 years is because we are consistent with what built the business. And we go to great lengths to make sure that when you bring a deer or a hog or whatever it may be, your meat stays your meat all the way through the process. But we want to be as true to the original intent, which is a local meat company. And that's something that we want to maintain for as long as the Lord lets us do it. Welcome back. We're here at White Oak Plantation with Chef John Foles. It's summertime. Snapper season is open. So what are we making today? Well, I tell you what, when you say snapper season is open, what else do we want right, right. now, right? Beautiful fish, the texture is absolutely fantastic. And the good thing about Sniper, especially as a restaurateur, is the diversity of that fish. Now, of course, the Gulf is full of fish that we can do all of these different culinary techniques with, especially today where we're doing so much grilling, so many whole fish roasting in our mm -hmm. wood-fired ovens. I don't know how many people are doing whole fish roasting, but they should, especially if you have about a, a knife up to, to throw it in, nothing better. Uh, but I think uh, with Snapper, you know, just the, the bite of the meat, the, 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 the moistness of it, the flavor of that fish is absolutely incredible. And I could say that about most fish in the Gulf, right? Yes. But uh, take a look at this right, uh, right here. We've, uh, we've just taken a nice fillet. We took the skin off. Now, of course, you can leave okay. the skin on if you want to. And a lot of times I will leave the skin on because I like the flavor of that skin coming through the fish as well. Uh, but going on the grill, especially with if you're going to be feeding a group, some people just want to make a, a quick little grab it, dip a little sauce, or as we're doing today, we're gonna fire roast it over here on our barbecue pit, okay? So uh, here's, the, uh, 
Here's the filet, and of course, uh, uh, I, I want to. I'm doing a BLT today. Okay. Just uh, have you ever done? A, a, I've a, had a regular BLT. I've never had one with fish on it. Uh, you hadn't had a BLT. I haven't had you a, a, a <laughs> BLT yet. <laughs> you hadn't had a BLT. So what I'm doing, I, I cut the fish the mm -hmm. size of my bun. Now, of right. course, depending, you know, some folks got those big seeded buns, and that's great, too. The first thing I'm going to do is to season. You can actually grab some of that salt. Uh, that's the granulated garlic. You can put some of that on. And don't be bashful. You want to get it onto the, onto the fish. And uh, I like cracked. You see this coarsely ground pepper here? Yes. If you have a pepper mill, which I know everybody has sitting in their cabinet, somebody gave them for Christmas and they right. hadn't taken it out yet, take it Desert out on this fish it. right here. That's right. So do you do a lot of any grilling of fish? Oh, all the time. Absolutely. I love, I love it. I'm put a it's little great bit. in the summer because you're outside and you're you know, hanging out with friends and it's just a casual environment to be around. Well, also just uh, just fish in general is so great for the grill. It yes. picks up the smoke, it picks up the flavor of the grill, it picks up all of the herb seasonings you put on it. And it cooks in just a few minutes. And when you cook with the skin on, sometimes it's like a natural tinfoil. Uh, absolutely it is. Now, one of the things that I like to do, and even in, even in the restaurants, I'll take an all-purpose vegetable spray, which is a really, really nice. And I'll just put it on the outside of the fish that I'm going to throw on the grill so side down. Stick. And the grill is already uh, oil a little bit as well. Now, you see how nice and hot that is? Very I have hot. it on high. I'm going to put my herbs on it now. I'm going to go ahead and put some bay. And of course, you know, a lot of people are afraid of herbs, not quite knowing what to do with them. Yeah, and you Cook. don't think about them grilling with herbs a lot. Yeah, no, of course. So you're going to put a little bit basil, basil thyme tarragon. Okay. Fish, basil thyme tarragon. Basil, and everybody thyme, has tarragon. that in their garden, right? Uh, at least I think everybody has it in their garden. I have a lot of if it. If you don't plant it now, it'll grow quick. <laughs> and tarragon loves fish. In fact, God made fish and tarragon on the same day. <laughs> so this is uh, so we're gonna put a little tarragon on it like that, and then I'll pat make that fish. Yeah, make that fish. Okay, give. Now I want you to uh, take it and you can throw it right onto the grill, uh, the the t uh, side down, this side down. And just kind of uh, lay it on that grill. The grill has already been oiled too. Right. You want to have a clean grill, I imagine. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. Because you don't want your fish falling apart on the grill. People ask me all the time. Picking I put up my... stuff from other other meals. Yeah. Now that's all you. Let's leave that piece okay. off. Now, the, now what I want you to do is to close that lid. Now the reason I'm closing that lid right now is because I want the natural drippings of that fish hitting that fire to bounce right back on ah. to the fish and start to add that beautiful flavor to it. And you know, we're using a red snapper today, but just think of the amount of fish out in the, out in the Gulf that you can actually, you, you know, the redfish on the, uh, uh, on, the, on the half shell has been a big, big favorite for the same reason. It picks up all that beautiful flavor. So uh, you want to take a look, right? It's, yeah, only we'll been, a look. it's only been on for a minute. You have a little fish spat right, uh, right next there. to it. Why don't you just take, uh, take that flip little spat. Over. I just want to show people how fast. Take, take that little one right there. Oh, right yeah. now, just flip it on and flip it over. Look at that, guys. You already have your grill marks on it. Uh, that fish is about 50% cooked already. Now we can leave the bigger uh, piece right there. Uh, now, now let's do this on the bigger piece. I want to season it because that fish piece is so large and you can do it right on the, on grill, the grill like that. And that's a nice technique because the pepper will start to burn in the fire as well. And you're going to have a really, really nice flavor. You with me? Yeah. So when we come back, we're going to take this off the grill, plate it up, make the sandwich and show you how good it and looks. And you can flip that big one now. All right. And close that lid, girl. Get we'll that right smoke back. in there. That fish is crying for that smoke. <laughs> <laughs> In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Welcome to White Oak Estate and Gardens, home of my distillery on Jones Creek. In the grist mill, corn is ground, then poured into the copper stills, filled with water and yeast added. Days later, Stillwater bourbon is placed into charred oak barrels where it ages. Likewise, raw brown sugar and water blend to create our Stillwater rum. Purchase these boutique vintages exclusively at White Oak.
We're back. We're about to take our grilled snapper off the grill and plate it up into the sandwich. We're going to move over to the grill now. Okay. Now, remember, I put a little vegetable spray right. on one side. I want you to take your little fish spat and pick up that fish right there. We didn't put spray on the on that side. Now, and flip it over. see what happens. Yeah, you see oh, you it lost apart. it all right there. Yeah. So, you're ready to go. We put a yes. little, uh, so always always spray the, the fish on each side before you put it on the grill and spray the grill. So, now we have a little ramelade sauce on top of this. So, you have the bottom here. You ready to go? Put some, is this bib lettuce? That's bib lettuce. But, of course, yeah. you use lettuce, uh, you know, if, you're in the, if you have a, a good, uh, good uh, uh, you know, Lettuce in the garden. Put it in there. Use beautiful your own. Tomatoes. I'm going to go ahead and grab this okay. beautiful piece of fish. Look at that one right there. And put that right on top, like that. And now one of the second best parts to the fish. Uh, this <laughs> beautiful. That, that beautiful bacon. But hold on. Let me put what we're going to do. That. Put one tomato double on decker. top. Oh yeah, you got double decker. Now put a good crisscross on that. I'm not going to be stingy huh? with the bacon. Oh no, no, you got to put. And that's applewood smoke with a little brown sugar on top oh, of it. Oh yeah. Now you just when you put it on that, just give it a good. Press right there. Let that fish know you're in command. I'm right? in command. I'm about to be in command of this sandwich. <laughs> Just get the cold beer out of the box. I mean, go. what else do you need, right? A beautiful red snapper BLT, perfect for your summertime grill. <laughs>
really good. It's well, it feels that, yeah, win, 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 because it, not only do people come down here and have fun and fish, but it's competition. They win a few yeah. prizes, but boy, yeah. what it does for the community, putting back. It is huge. It is huge. Uh, I mean, trying to, ideally, you know, you'd like to have an event every weekend of the summer, you know, and, and, and into August and September, and it, it really helps. It really helps the community, the stores, the restaurants, uh, you know, made houses. And they award scholarships. Yes, most. That's true. Most of the most of the events down, almost all the uh, you know rodeos down here have some some contributory factor back to the South Lafouche or surrounding schools for Lafouche Terrebonne. I mean, I think the, the almonds. The Almonds event is put in. David, what is it to, to date? The year, I think we've given like six, seven hundred, a million dollars back to the community over the period of time. Uh, Fushon Tarpon, how much? Seven, over seven hundred fifty thousand. Fushon Tarpon, I mean, God, I don't know, 70, 70 years of it, 60, 70 years of it, and a scholarship every year, all that time. You know, that's huge. Thanks to Captain Chris Moran for another great day in Louisiana waters and to the coordinators of the Golden Meadow Fouchon Tarpon Rodeo for keeping alive the traditions of adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage of Bayou Wild.